Fashion Week has taken Manhattan by storm, and here on Fast Forward, we've been catching up with some of America's biggest players in the business. One of them is Scott Lips. He is the president of One Management, an agency that shaped the careers of big name catwalkers and cover girls. I talked with him about the business of modeling and how the economic downturn has also altered the rules of the game. Iman, Claudia Schiffer, Ava Herzegova, Bar Raffaelli. Most of us know them as supermodels. But for Scott Lips, they're the types of investments that have made him one of the most successful managers in the world of high fashion. After doing it for 20 years, you kind of have an idea about what to look for. So you kind of, it's proportions, it's being symmetrical. It's something that you just learn after doing it a while in the same way that people you know, who invest in technology companies understand what to look for when they're making an investment in the next Google or the next Facebook. And like any early stage investment, it's hard to predict exactly how and when it'll pay off. Every agency, normally speaking, you'll have a certain amount of money and it's not you know it's not going to be obviously hundreds of thousands of dollars but it's an amount of money that you will bring the girl in usually with a chaperone if she's young you have to put them up you have to fly them here sometimes and you have to develop their portfolio so it's a sizable investment but at the end of the day it's an investment you know sometimes you invest in these girls and they can go on to make a million dollars or more depending on who they are I can look at this and know that she has what it takes to the economic downturn has also altered the rules of the game in recent years making it harder for a younger unknown like Millie edgy, to make it big. When the economy went south a little while ago, clients wanted safe. So they wanted celebrities. If they were going to you know, advertise and spend, let's say, $5 million on an ad campaign, they wanted to be a household name or somebody that sort of the general public hopefully could recognize. At the same time, the rise of not so traditional media is opening up new opportunities, and the smart models are expanding beyond the runways and magazine racks. All this media is converging, and you have girls that are doing reality TV that are on the covers of the biggest magazines and worth $100 million these days in terms of their brand values. All right, we're going to hear more from Scott Lips in the business of modeling tomorrow. We're going to talk with him as well as one of his veteran models. She's been in the business for 10 years. We're going to talk to her also about how she's managed that successful career. That's tomorrow on Bloomberg's Fast Forward. Okay, here in New York, it is Fashion Week almost over, and so far we've covered what it takes to be a successful designer. Yesterday, we spoke about running a successful modeling agency. So today, we're going to be talking about what it takes to make it as a model. I was 15 when I started. My mother sent me to a summer holiday camp for models, so they sort of, you know, teach you how to walk and they do a few pictures for your portfolio and then, you know, they show them to a few model agents. Linda Vodova may not look it, but by the modeling industry standards, she's a seasoned veteran, recently celebrating her 10th anniversary as a professional model. She may have started young, but Linda says hers was not an overnight success story. It took me about, I would say, two to three years. It took me until I got to New York and uh, started working with Steven Maisel right away, sort of. Getting two key ad campaigns, one with Max Mara and the other with Giorgio Armani, were major milestones. I knew that, you know, those two will always keep me up there. And uh, those were really big break points of my career. Her timing also helped. For models trying to make it during the recession, times have been tough. I was really lucky because I came right before, well, a few years before the recession. So people still had money to, you know, to put into their productions. And they were only going with girls that they knew they would definitely uh, be able to use. So, and the girls will sell their products, so they weren't taking as many chances. So I didn't really see much of the recession happening with me. I was really lucky, but um, you know, seeing it with my friends, it was definitely, it was definitely much worse for them. But while the economic downturn may be making life more difficult for today's young models, modern technology is also leveling the playing field. Before you had these scouts that were going around the world and you know, like bringing papers, like actual pictures, to show to the agents. Now it's all done over the internet, so the girls can post the pictures themselves. Everything's so much faster. Okay, technology a big theme here even when it comes to models.